All right, is that string line nice and flush with the stair down there? All set here. Now we have two fixed points, one being down there at the top of the stair, the other being up here at the house. So we have a string line running from point to point. Now, if that was a straight line, we'd be able to set our stone at that line, but it's not. If you look here, you can see how these pieces of bluestone are lifting up the line. So what we're gonna do is raise this line up evenly using these three quarter inch pieces of scrap wood. Now you bring yours down your end. I'm gonna slide mine under right here. Now we raise the line up three quarters of an inch. So we're gonna use another piece of wood three quarters of an inch as a gauge block all the way down the bluestone to get the bluestone set at three quarters of an inch below the line. Now if you look here, when I slide it over to the line, that's perfectly level, that's great. You can see it's nice and flush to the deck here also. So this one's fine, it didn't move at all. But look at this piece here. It is actually about a quarter of an inch high on this corner, but on this corner, it's almost three quarters of an inch high. So this piece definitely has to come out. Let's take this piece out to give us some room to work. And just set it down nice and easy so we don't mark up the deck. So what we want to do is scrape off about an inch of the stone dust. We're going to make sure we get it clean all the way to the edges. You take and just put it in this bucket and we'll take it away. So it's really important that we get all the material out of these joints. It's not stone dust at this point, it's organic material. And we're going to put some really good stuff in the joints. So let's clean this out. Great. That's our setting bed. That's six pots of stone dust mixed with one pot of cement. Just take and dump it in here and I'm going to level it off. So there's not much cement in there? No, there's not at all. We're not trying to set the stone in cement. The cement we have in here is just going to stiffen up the mix and allow us to work. Bottom end in. Got it? Yeah. Come to me just a little bit. Take your fingers out of there. I'll take care of that end. All right, that looks good. Well, let's take that one down just a hair. Perfect. Looks good. All right, let's start it on the next row. Set it in this edge. All right, I got it. I got it. Good. Okay. Now we've got the blue stone even with the deck and even with each other, and we're ready for the final step, and that's filling in the joints. In the past, I've used stone dust or sand, and you can get ants and weeds growing in the patio. Now I use something called polymeric sand. This is a special sand that we're gonna take and spread down into the joints, and then we're gonna sweep it in and water it. So what's so special about polymeric sand? When it hardens up, it'll keep water from going into these joints, and that'll help us with our freeze-thaw cycle. And it also gets so hard that it stops insects from going in there and weeds from growing and it locks the whole patio together. Perfect. You take the broom and just kind of push down on it a little bit. One thing about the sand, it's really important to get it off the surface of the bluestone. We don't want it sticking to that when we water it in. All right, we just want to lightly mist this. We're starting at the low point in the patio. I want you to work your way really quickly, real light, and do this whole thing in less than a minute. All right, got it. Looking good. See how it looks in the joints where it just settled down? Perfect, oh, yeah. eighth of an inch in the joint. Looks great. Now you can see why we had to get all that dust off the bluestone because it would stick just like the stuff in the joints and we'd end up with spots on the bluestone. Roger, this looks great. So much better than this morning. And a lot safer, no more tripping hazards. Mm -hmm.